All right, guys, we are back. It is day two. I, I Day two. I feel like I'm recording a video for the app or something because that's how we started. Uh, what is today? Today is Monday, June 25th, 2018. Second episode. I, I don't even know if you call these episodes. I'm not even sure what to call these, but IGTV seems to be going off with a hitch or I guess without a hitch because yesterday's little vacuum twist thing was seemingly uh, very well received. You guys had a lot more questions, things that you wanted to know. Figured I would take five to 10 minutes today and talk about another question I got. Going a little bit um, down the personal realm right now. You know what, the good thing about IGTV is I'm not quite sure who's watching yet. So naturally, I'm a lot less filtered. <laughs> so pretty soon here, I might be like, why? did I post something about that? But I kind of feel like we're all friends. Like I read all of your comments and totally interacted with some of you and I want to help you. So, okay, question I got yesterday. Guys, like I said, seeming a little bit personal, but you'll see why ladies here, this is going to be intriguing to a handful of you guys. This is something I've gotten a question about over and over. Um, Sarah Elizabeth, 1989. I told my son, my 13 year old, to stay inside for this. Shut the door, lock it. There we go. Lock it, lock it, lock it like it's hot. All right, so Sarah Elizabeth says, I don't wanna sound like a creep or offend you or anyone in this post at all, but I have a legit question and concern myself. This is very, very much a personal question, blah, 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 blah. She says, as a person who lifts weights myself, I can't help but notice that when I lose weight, I lose all of my boobs. This is a very real question, a very real problem a lot of women have. Um, she says, they aren't very big in the first place, but it's discouraging to lose that part of me that helps me feel like a woman. I totally get it. I have been there. I eventually want to get implants for several reasons, but I'm concerned how implants will affect my lifting. Also, I've seen so many body bodybuilders with implants that look like they have giant bubbles on their chest. You know exactly what I'm talking about there. Um, I couldn't help but notice, this is so kind, she thinks mine are decent. Um, anyway, uh, you've had so many kids and you're somewhat lean. I'm not reading this verbatim. I'm kind of reading over it. Um, if you have implants, they ask, can you please talk about how they affect your lifting? And if you don't have implants, how do you keep the boobs and keep them amazing? No, you did not offend me. Okay. So these are totally 100% real. Can you believe it? You shouldn't believe it because it is not true. <laughs> they are not real and actually they're popping today. They look a lot bigger than they normally do. Um, but I did, I had, I waited, I had two kids. I actually didn't feel like I needed them, but um, for moms out there, you guys know, it's like the more kids you have, I swear like the more life they suck out of you in a good way, but here is just a place that really, they end up sagging, they end up drooping. We nurse, they fill up. And then it's like, once you're done nursing, they not only deflate more than before, but then they sag. You still have your pec muscles in there, but I, I totally get it. It's like, as a woman, is it the most important part of us? Absolutely not. But for me, it was just something I always wanted my husband to, not that he cared either way, neither of my husbands, because I've been married twice, cared either way, but it helped me feel more confident with who I was, just to um, prop, perk them back up to the size that they were before babies. Now, um, I did have two more babies after, nursed, came back down. Actually, one of them, because of how I worked out after I had implants, I did ruin my left side so when I would lay down, like at the beach, it would completely like flatten out. So I did go get, I got them fixed. I got that tightened up, got that pocket fixed and everything about two years ago or so. So if you noticed a little bit of perk within the last two years, it's because I got a little bit of perk added to them, but I'm only telling this guys because we are friends, but we are here to talk about, okay, the effect of lifting. So if you do have implants or if you're considering getting them, once you get, doc, some doctor, I've had one of my doctors said, it doesn't matter how you lift after you get implants. I had another one say, never, ever, ever, ever do chest again. Um, I did a lot of chest. I did a lot of burpees. I did a lot of pushups. I did a lot of everything for the first eight years after I had my implants. Um, my first set of implants. And like I said, I really feel like that kind of ruined them. It at least ruined one side. The implant itself came out of the pocket and it just was kind of a pain in the butt. 
Um, not that it was anything devastating or I had to, had to get it fixed, but I chose to fix it just so it didn't go into my armpit every time I laid back to do a bench press, if you know what I mean. But um, since my second round here, I actually have been very, very, very careful not to do a ton of chest. Now, luckily as women, we don't have to work our chest. We don't necessarily want those striations up there. Um, but I still, every now and then, if I do chest, I try and do chest that is more of an incline. So I keep all of my lifts. I never, I shouldn't say never, very rarely do I do flat bench chest, bench press, but I have no need to do it. So all, all of my chest moves for the most part are gonna be at about a 70 degree incline. So about right here, just pressing up. So I'm getting a lot of shoulder and then the top chest right here. And then I do occasionally add in dips, like chair dips, bench dips, dips on the pull or on the dip bar, whatever it is, just so I feel like I'm getting the part of the chest here. And then if I do anything flat, I'm gonna do a push up, just because it's lightweight, it's body weight, and I know I'm a little bit safer. But I will say, I have a hard time doing any kind of back movements that are, like if I'm doing a cable, straight arm cable um, rope pull down. So here, like this, I really have to go lighter weight or I do start to feel it tug here, which for me, if I feel it tugging too much, I know I'm probably compromising the implant itself. Um, not to make this totally about implants, but that was the question. Wanted to let you know, it is okay to still lift. It is okay to work out, but I highly recommend you just feel your body, pay attention to what it's saying. And if you feel anything pulling too much, the last thing you want is to rupture something. I mean, that's definitely not something you want. Also, if you haven't gotten them done, here is a huge, not to mention like huge, but like rule of thumb or my bit of advice. I always say smaller is better because once you put them in, you can't take them out. You can, but you're gonna have loose skin. So go small. If at some point down the road a long time you wanna go a little bit bigger, you can. But biggest thing for me, I don't want them to get, away, get in the way of me being fit, healthy, and having fun, living life, lifting weights, running. I don't want anything that's gonna be bouncing. I want them nice and tight. Now, whatever way you decide to go, I'm sure it's great for you. But guys, the answer to your question is yes, you can lift weights after you get implants. Just be very careful. And of course, always, 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 Listen to your doctor because doctor knows best. All right, so now that you know my secrets, well, one of them, <laughs> over time, you'll get more. Um, let me know, comment below if there is anything else you want to know. You guys, Chris and I say it all the time, but probably a little bit too much, we are an open book. We have nothing to hide. If you wanna know anything, just ask. We're happy to share, whether it's tips, tricks, you name it, we are here for you. And yes, I do have on the exact same pants I had yesterday. I have the same hat because I still have not washed my hair. Um, different halo. So this one's, <laughs> this is like my scrubby one. So I really, yeah. Anyway, looked a little bit better yesterday. I'm just kind of slumming it today, getting a lot of work done. And I got kids inside and a teen wanting to come out that continues to open up the door. So guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I actually think one of the next ones I'm going to do is carb cycling. Who wants to know more about nutrition? And carb cycling, there were some other great questions about how to lose body fat here, how to lose body fat here, all stuff we can talk about. All right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any more questions, I'm going to try to get back to you. And then what you want to hear next. All right, bye.